Hi everyone and welcome to the fourth video of the Angular Portfolio website course. In this video we will be going over how to add Bootstrap to our website. For those of you who aren't familiar with Bootstrap, Bootstrap is a free and open source CSS styling framework that will provide us with a collection of CSS and JavaScript classes that we can use to make our website modern and responsive without needing to know too much CSS ourselves. If we take a look at our site, which I still have running, Times New Roman is the font that is used by default. Times New Roman isn't exactly the most aesthetic font to use. And instead of having to write out custom CSS to change that, Bootstrap will take care of that and many other things for us so that we can focus more on development. For those of you who have used Bootstrap before, you know that it's pretty simple to use. Normally, all you have to do is link the style sheet and you're good to go. However, it's not quite that straightforward when trying to use Bootstrap with Angular. The reason for this is because Angular will manipulate web elements, and the JavaScript that comes with Bootstrap will also manipulate web elements. For example, Bootstrap uses JavaScript when animating a drop-down menu, and we could run into problems when both Bootstrap and Angular are trying to manipulate the same web element. The solution to this is to use a component library that will still use all of the CSS from Bootstrap, but will handle all of the functionality in a way that doesn't interfere with Angular. The library that we will be using is ngx bootstrap. If we click on get started, then it will tell us how to install ngx bootstrap into our project. Installing ngx bootstrap is pretty straightforward. We can run this command via the Angular CLI, and it will do everything that's needed to bring this library into our project. Let's go ahead and copy this command and go back to our project. Go ahead and open a new terminal session. Let's paste and run this command. NPM found a compatible package version, which is 10.2.0. If you recall in previous videos, I had mentioned that we're using Angular 15 because some third-party packages may not be compatible with the latest versions of Angular. This is one of those packages. At this point, any later versions of NGX Bootstrap should be compatible with Angular 15. However, if you want to stay on the safe side, I would recommend installing NGX Bootstrap 10.2.0 specifically. Let's type Y to proceed. After some time, it will install the package successfully. Let's take a quick look at what changed with our project when we installed NGX Bootstrap. It has modified these three files of our project. Let's first take a look at package.json. We now have dependencies to Bootstrap and NGX Bootstrap. Taking a look next at angular.json. Within the styles array, we have two new lines which are references to NGX specific styling sheets. This is how Angular will know where to find the CSS classes that we will be using from Bootstrap. And lastly, we will take a look at appmodule.ts. This import line has been added, as well as browser animations module in the import section. These are the changes that have been made with the installation. Let's verify that NGX Bootstrap has been installed successfully by looking at our website. However, before doing so, we will need to rerun our project first. The project will need to be rerun after doing things like installing packages. Let's go to our local server here and terminate it by pressing Ctrl C, type yes, and then type ng serve to rerun the project. Once it's ready, let's navigate to our website. We can see that instead of Times New Roman, we are now using this much more modern font which means that everything has been installed successfully. That's all for this video. In the next video, we will begin building the website itself, starting with the header. Feel free to click on the video in the middle of the screen now to continue along to the next video in the course. 
If you are liking the course so far, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions or feedback, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.